Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna go through something very useful for your apps. How you can check for internet connection while somebody is using your application. By doing so, you can do different stuff like update the UI or inform the user that they lost connection or they regained connection. It is very useful and so simple to implement. So let's jump straight on how to do this and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get started guys. First, what we're gonna need is a reachability framework. That framework is created here by uh, Ashley Mills and it's very useful. It does all the job almost for us. We just need a few lines of code of what we want to do when we have internet and when we don't have. So very simply, you just go and press on click or download and download the zip file. Now, I already have that file, so I'm not gonna download it. And we will leave this file for now. Now, First thing, let me tell you something that Apple, for some reason, when they detect that reachability is included in a project or in an app, uh, then they sometimes reject the app. We don't know why. So a way to work around that is to change the class name from reachability to whatever you want to. But if you're not planning to put the app into the app store, then you don't have to do this. So I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. Just the heads up. All right, now that you download the framework, let's go and create a new project in our Xcode. Now, I'm gonna open Xcode and create a new project, which I have right here. And it's gonna be a single view application. Now, click next and give it a name of whatever you want. I'm gonna get like check internet and click next and create perfect now what we have to do is go to the folder that we downloaded from github which is right here i have it in my finder you go to that folder and then you go to reachability and there's a reachability.swift file and all you need to do is drag this reachability.swift to your project and then copy items if needed and finish now we have access to this class and then we are going to go to our view controller and we're going to delete this part that we don't need and let me make some space to write. Now, now first what we need to do is call a variable reachability that we're going to use to check if we have internet or not. And let's go and say let reachability equals a reachability open close parenthesis and explanation mark that makes sure that it does exist and into your view did load now when our view controller loads we want to do something when we have internet and we want to do something that when we don't have internet and you can say reachability is the variable that we have dot when reachable is when we have internet and that equals to a block of code now, that block of code gives you a reachability variable in there, but I'm not going to use it, so I'm just going to say underscore in. And now, here we can write what we want to do when we have internet. And this is called when it's in the background thread, so if, if you want to update any designs, you need to be in the main thread. So simply, to go into the main thread, you say dispatchq.main.async, and then we write your code. Otherwise, maybe your app will crash, most likely. And what we want to do, self.view.background color, I'm going to put a UI, actually a color literal of green. Perfect. And we want what we want to do when we don't have internet. And we simply say reachability dot when unreachable. And this is the same uh, block of code with a reachability variable that we're not gonna need in. And again, we need to dispatch a queue, main and async. And let's make the background color red. So we say color literal, and I'm gonna use red. Now, when I open my view controller, if I have internet, it's gonna be green. If I don't have internet, when I open it, it's gonna be red. But what happens when I change the internet connection while I'm in the view controller? Right now, nothing. So let's go and implement that. We're still in viewDidLoad method and we want to call a 
notification center to add an observer. So we say notification center dot default dot add observer. And that observer is our view controller, which is self. And then a selector. Selector is a method that's gonna be called whenever our internet connection changes. So we say selector, open close brackets, and then you want to pass the name of the method that we don't have yet. And the notification name is already included in our reachability.swift uh, file, and it's called reachability changed notification. And the object that you want to pass is this reachability object. And you just say reachability. And then you want to do a do try method to start the notifier of the reachability. So you say do try reachability dot start notifier. And that not start notifier might throw you an error, so you just have to catch this error and say something like print could not load could not start notifier. Simple as that. Perfect. Now we need the method that we're gonna fire when the internet connection changes. And we're gonna call this function um, inter internet changed. And this gets a parameter of notification. This is gonna come from our notification. I'm gonna call this note notification like this. And then we open brackets. Now, in our selector, we just say internet changed and you want to remove that parenthesis note like this perfect now what we want to do is we want to extract the object from the notification and have it as reachability so we can check if the internet was is going online or is going offline so to do that we say let reachability equals note dot object as reachability because we know that we are passing reachability uh, as an object we know that this is a reachability object and simply you want to say if reachability is reachable that means that we have internet else that means we don't have internet now when we have internet there are two options we can either have internet via wi-fi or our mobile data so simply you say if reachability dot is reachable via Wi-Fi, you want to do something. And that something is change the color of our background for in my case. And I'm gonna need it this to dispatch a main queue. Main dot sync. And then we're gonna say self dot view dot background color a color literal of green. And here, if else, if it's not the Wi-Fi, then it's mobile data. So else, we say dispatch main queue and a sync, and then we say self dot view, oops, view dot background color of, let's say orange. And else, we don't have internet, so let's make our background color red. So dispatch queue main dot sync self dot view dot background color color literal of red now uh, i read in the documentation that this notification is always gonna fire in the main thread so you don't have to uh, call the main queue however it didn't work for me i was not getting my colors if i was not firing the main thread so you can try it without calling the main method the main thread sorry or you can try and call it and see the difference if you don't have any difference just choose your way but for me it works only if i call the main queue and that is it so i'm gonna run this on my iphone so you can check all three possibilities as the simulator cannot have a circular data and also simulators sometimes if you uh, connect to internet you will be green then you disconnect it it's gonna go red but then the notifications are being stopped from firing i don't know why it's a bug in the simulator so it's better to try this on your iphone so let's go and see this is how our application starts here i'm opening my application with 
4G first. Don't mind the Wi-Fi signal there. I don't know why does it show. Uh, as you can see, my Wi-Fi is turned off. And as we remember, we put an orange color for 4G. So now I'm gonna turn my Wi-Fi on and let's go to my view controller again. And you can see it changed to green. And now I'm gonna put my airplane mode and go back and it goes to red. And I'm gonna turn it off back, go, it will go green. And I'm gonna turn my 4G and it goes to 4G. Simple as that, guys. And this is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I really hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new. Once again, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.